going to do another pour similar to one I posted number video number 58 I believe I think um, I'll put a link to it um, at the beginning of this video so you can check it out if you want um, anyway it was a cup pour where the each color was only put in once and um, they were layered from light to dark and I did kind of a jiggly pattern. I'm gonna try this one a little more of a, of a ring. So, but basically same colors. I, I did change a few things just because I had to do the what I had on hand. But I'm gonna go through the colors really quick because I have more in the other video if you wanna kind of catch up over there. Um, so I have my um, Flow Troll and Flow White, just the usual. Two parts flow, no, about two and a half parts flow trawl to one part um, artist law flow white. This is the Craftsmart neon pink, and I didn't have enough of this left, so I also put in some Amsterdam quinacridone rose. Um, so it's still kind of neon, but um, a little bit, a little bit darker, I guess. Be a good way to put it. Um, Let's see, and I'm sorry, it's a mess in here. Um, if I had a bigger canvas, you wouldn't notice it as much. This is a 12 by 12. Um, the next color is Craft Smart Neon Yellow. This is a little variation from what I did in the last one. I did a um, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow, I think. This one's a little brighter. Um, and then I mixed it in with just a little of the Lemon Yellow from Arteza. It's lumpy. I'm gonna have to be really careful when I pour this. I don't know, I'm a little worried. Um, I think the lumps, I think something was dried at the, in the cap of this Arteza. That's all I can figure out. I've been like gradually like taking lumps out of here and it's just driving me nuts. So dropping them on my mat here. So yeah, I mean, I've stirred it like crazy, but it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Okay. Sorry, this one's weird. Um, so this is the Amsterdam Naples Yellow Deep. It's the same one I used before, but for some reason it looks more apricot to me tonight. Um, last time it looked like pale yellow, so I'm really confused. I'm not sure what's up, but that's my light yellow, my bright yellow, my light yellow. Um, Then I have my blues. Let me get rid of this. Um, so this is my Amsterdam um, Prussian Blue Phthalo, my dark blue. I have my Amsterdam Greenish Blue. And then I have, this one is um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And then I had some leftover um, of this deco art peacock pearl so i had a little bit of this that was already mixed with some flow trial i mixed it in with the this so it's slightly different and maybe just slightly lighter than it was last time but it's always good to use up that old stuff and um i really like the peacock pearl so hopefully that was a okay thing to do and then i have the magenta which is liquitex basics quinacridone magenta so, okay, I'm gonna um, bring the camera down a little more towards the canvas. I am, um, we'll, uh, anyway, I wanna bring it down so you guys can see better. I am gonna layer a cup. I think, I'm trying to decide if that's enough. Just, I think that's probably, I have that size and then, I think this is the same, yeah. If I don't do that, I have to kind of go to a cup that isn't clear, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna use the bigger one just to be sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. So um, we're gonna start with the white in the bottom, but I am gonna, I'm gonna not put too much white. I think all the other colors I will put a lot in. Oops. Oh, and I also put in, um, Deco Art Satin Enamel 
Um, I put about, this is a pretty big container, but um, about 40 grams of this white satin enamel. It's called Pure White. And that sort of helps with the cloud effect, or so I've heard. So, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way because it is big. Okay, let's see here. Um, so we're gonna use the, this is the Naples yellow. And I wish, I'm sorry, I, I can't show you guys very well. But basically we're just putting um, each color, just one, le one row of it. So um, it's kind of, um, it gives you a different effect. At least it was really cool, I liked it. Um, This was my lumpy one. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I think I did neon pink and then magenta. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to go for it. Get that over there. And then this is the metallic cobalt blue and the peacock pearl. Okay. The greenish blue. Hopefully you can tell that I'm putting a lot of each one um, to some extent. Yeah, I mean, anyway, this is the phthalo blue, which is the darkest one. Okay. Um, Hopefully I have enough. I might actually do um, a second one um, after this one, if this one comes out well. Um, of course, I said that last time, and here I am doing a second one. <laughs> okay, we're going to put down a puddle, and use the white. Sorry, I had to strain a bunch of Floetrol before I could start mixing paints tonight. That kind of wore me out. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> um, it takes a while. I strain it into a big container and then I strain it from a big container into a small container and then I mix it in to the, all the colors obviously. So anyway. Okay. Um, there's all the colors. I, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um, there it's just really hard for me to explain how much, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight colors, I think. So if you took this and divided it by eight, so that's two, four, so maybe like a quarter inch of each. So, okay, I'm gonna, um, I think I'm just gonna do kind of the standard pour in the middle and go for it from there. Okay, now I'm doing a little jiggling because I want to Um, there's a little bit of a, the yellow and the blue are um, almost making like a gray. There's my torch. Okay. Okay. 
gonna, I'm just kind of stretching it out here. I didn't add any extra white around the edges. I think I had a lot. My puddle was pretty big. So. It's probably got way too much yellow, but. definitely cool. Um, kind of wish I had a little more blue. Um, but it's pretty. So I wonder. I do kind of like the idea of like the one, one color at a time. It seems to be really cool at making rings and um, stuff like that. But I feel like um, I probably should have put a little more of the darker colors and a little less of the yellow. In the meantime, I need to um, get some need to get some of this on the corner. And so let's see. I think the other color or other corners I can see are pretty good. I'm not liking this corner though, because what's weird is like the colors, the rings are so thick that it's not normal to end up with a multicolor corner when you have a solid going right up to it. So I'm gonna try and go right over that a little bit. Okay. Let's see, yeah, I think all the other corners are looking good to me, definitely enjoying the uh, neon pink and I'm out of it so other than what I have left over here so it doesn't have a lot of blue left on it but um, it's still really pretty I've got some weird shadows on it excuse the shadows I moved it in another spot to dry so yeah there you go thank you guys so much for watching um, love to have you as a subscriber if you want to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button it would be great thank you bye